Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be making a response to a kind of an unreasonable feature request. And it's asking about the ability to freeze and flatten sidechained material in Ableton. Uh, I think like this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I'll just give you an example of what you might run across and then some workarounds. We have that right there. We got our kick and we have our bass. So naturally I'll want to compress sidechain input the uh, kick here. We'll go kick pre-effects and then I hit the EQ, give it a bit of a bump, the ratio all the way up. I want this to pump a little bit and then I'll bring this down. All right, so that is a very obvious side-chained kick, or side-chained bass to the kick. So what I want to do is I want to freeze that. Let's say that is getting a little too intense. It's getting cold. I want to freeze it, and I can't because there's this. And the reason why you don't want to do that is because, you know, it's just the inherent routing. Like, you have the kick going into it, and if you change something in the kick... It just doesn't make any sense. So a few things you can do. What you can do is you can actually group group that, drop the sidechain into the group. So all the audio processing happens down here, and then it gets summed to the group with the compressor on it. And guess what? Now you can freeze it. And there you have it. That's, that's pretty simple. Uh, another way is I'll just uh, do undo. Yeah, so we have this right here. Let's actually record this. Say if you want to like freeze it in a roundabout way, let's do that. So I'm gonna insert audio track, external in, which is this bass here. Go post effects, go in, and now we can hear it in this channel. And I'm gonna take off the compressor. Oops. I'll press this one, and then I'll hit record again. All right, so that is uh, unsidechained. The bass moves around a bit. You want to record like your whole track or whatever. And uh, yeah, from there, we just take the compressor, drop it down, take this, and uh, freeze it. Oops. Nope, I'm going to take that off. Freeze it. No, nope, never mind. I'll just go external in. Nothing's going on. Freeze it. Okay, there we go. So that is frozen. And we can just enable the compressor here. Right, so we have our dry, which is frozen. A side chain. And then we have our recorded audio. And uh, yeah, what you can do is you can just kind of deactivate. Or like deactivate the whole thing for now, and then you always keep a note that that's the bass, and then when time comes, you uh, right-click, you activate everything, and then, you know, you can, like, unfreeze, and then do it again, and that's the way to do it. But how I would do it, especially now, since you, have, you can have groups within groups, you can just, just put the whatever you're doing into a group. The audio from that is sent to the, the group parent, I guess, and then it's uh, side-chained, and then that goes out to the master. And uh, that's a good way to go about it. So, yeah, hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.